Hi everyone, my name is Talana and welcome back to Chronically Me Tea. Today I'm going to show you how to use an Osto Easy Vent. So this is what the vent looks like and I'm going to show you how to put it on your bag. I use bags that have little windows so I can see where my stoma is. It does make it a little bit easier but it doesn't mean you can't use it if you don't have this window. So I'll show you how to use it on a couple different types of bags. So you want to start off with a couple pair of scissors. You can just use one pair or both. I don't like this pair because it's got a rounded edge on it here, so it's hard to pierce through the hole. So it's up to you of which ones you want to use. But you want to start by cutting your bag to the right size. If your bag's already pre-cut, you probably won't need this step. Okay, so that's the size of the hole. So then what you wanna do is you wanna go to the window. So this is where your stoma is gonna sit. I'd like to put it just above the stoma but still above the plastic piece. On some of these bags that you have, it doesn't even have to, if it's a coloplast one or whatever, um, it doesn't have to have a window, you can use another one, but they sometimes have these filters. So you want to try not to put it on top of the filter. So I usually go just below it where the plastic piece starts. So you're going to peel off the sticker. This is the, the vent. They come in packs of 10. So this is the sticker. You want to peel off the sticker. And then stick the vent how you want it. It doesn't really matter where, it could be personal preference, but that's where I'll put it. And then you just push it down. I like to push it over the hole, flip it over, and give it a good rub. Make sure it's stuck on well. I'll show you on some other bags that I have at home here, how you can put these vents on without having this window. So once you feel like it's pushed down enough, you want to flip it back over and if you haven't pulled it down to that window, you want to just get it down to that window so you can see where the hole is. Now please be careful that you don't hurt yourself because this is dangerous and you can cut yourself. So you want to take scissors and either open them up, however you feel that you can do it safely, and you're going to go put the tip of the blade into the hole here. And you're going to push it through and it's going to come out the other side so that's why I want you to be careful and I just twist it around a little to make sure that it is cut open and then you pull it out and close her up this is the most important part is to make sure it's closed it does click a little it doesn't make a sound sorry but it does like you do feel it click in and it's on there so this is your your bag so once it's on you if you find that you're full of air it's all blown up and you want to just release the air without emptying it through the bottom you can just get to your spot here make sure you you push all the poop down and do this very carefully so I just peel it off and let the air come out. Sometimes I push on it, but do it very slowly. You'll see it bubble and pop and those kind of things. You can kind of see it if your output is coming through the hole or not. And then when you're done, you're gonna put the cap back on and you're on your way. So I'll show you in a couple other bags of how to get through if you don't have this window. So you most likely don't need this stuff if you have a two-piece bag because you obviously could just pop open your two-piece, but if that makes you nervous, you can still do this as well. Um, this is another coloplast bag that I have and it has that fabric on it, but it doesn't have a window. And if you're unsure if you can cut the fabric, there's a way to check. So on the bottom here, you can see, this is where you would see your output. There's a little plastic layer. 
And if you can see this plastic layer is underneath the fabric, that's what you want to separate. So I always just pull it away a little bit so I don't cut the actual bag. I've done that before. I've cut the plastic of the bag and yeah, it's not a pretty sight. So you can cut this however you want. I'm not gonna make it pretty right now, but that's what it kind of looks like underneath the bag. It's still opaque. So you're not gonna actually see what's going on, but you can have an idea as to where the hole is and what's going on of where you're placing the stoma. You can also feel around your bag if you have that ring. You'll notice the difference, there's a texture. This one doesn't have that filter as the last one did. So I can put this anywhere on this bag here. Just, I don't wanna put it right on top of my stoma because it's plastic and our stomas are easily to bleed. So you don't wanna kinda of give them anything to rub on. So I'm just gonna put it just above here. And again, the same thing, what you're gonna do is pull it down over to the hole and you can feel it. You can actually see here, I don't take the sticker off, but you can see where the hole is and you can hold it up to the light and it might make it easier for you. Same thing, pop your scissors through here and that's how you would have a vent on a fabric bag where you don't have the window. So just check on your bags if the plastic separates from what holds your boot to the fabric on the outside before you go cutting. And if you're ever unsure, you guys can post down below and let me know what bags you have and I will try and help you out. So thanks for joining me today. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you're not sure what type of bag you're using and how to put it in, and I can show another video on the certain type of bag that you have, or message me on Instagram at chronicallymetea, and we can work through the troubles together that you might be having. So let me know if this works for you, if you've tried it before and what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear all of those. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn those post notifications on so you get notified every single time that I post a video. I'm looking forward to continuing this with you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.